What's going on gamers? This is Fan to Go, the 100% game and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make millions of dollars every day in Grand Theft Auto Online and make at least $600,000 every single hour. Now this is both for beginners and those people who have fucking been playing this game for many, many years and have had made millions of dollars already. This method works for both, but there are a few different things that you can do if you are not a beginner player to make more money than what we have spoken about. Now we're going to be completing the CEO and VIP missions. This week they are dishing out double money and RP, which means for every mission, instead of getting $22,000, we're going to be getting about $44,000 for one mission. Guys, this is insane money for beginners. It's also insane money for advanced players in Grand Theft Auto Online. Alright, without any more talking, let's fucking get to it. Now to be a CEO, you're going to need to have an office. But if you don't have the fucking funds for an office, don't worry about that. I've got you. All you need to do is become a VIP. And all you need to become a VIP is $50,000. If you have troubles getting $50,000, I don't know man, there's something wrong. But get $50,000 and then you can start doing this method. What we want to go is go to our interactive menu and we want to find ourselves a Kiro. So if here we want to register as a CEO and it will say you are the CEO or VIP of whatever business you are. From here we want to go to VIP work. This is the same for both CEOs and VIP. Now there are two missions we want to do. We want to be doing Sightseer which will make you pick up three packages. This is my least preferred one. I much prefer to do Headhunter so we always do that first. Here we go. We're going to start. Now once you start Headhunter there are going to be four targets around the map which have just popped up as you can see right now. What we've got to do is we've got to go over to these targets and take them out. Now I am in the Oppressor Mark II which makes this so much easier. If you already have this vehicle, great. If you don't, don't worry too much. There are other vehicles that you can get which can make this a little bit easier. If you own the Buzzard, great. Again, that is over a million dollars to buy it so beginners won't have that amount of money. You can actually do both of these missions that I'm going to be showing you in just a regular car. But you've got to be careful because these guys do have pretty good accuracy and they deal a lot of damage so you might die a little bit trying to do these missions. Now when you do this mission targets will spawn all over the map as we've already discussed but they will always be in two vehicles and two random locations around the map. Once you do it a few times you'll understand where they're spawning and it's not going to be too much of a surprise for you. There's one there, he is locked on, he's taken out. And now I'm going to go to the other guy driving around in the car. Now, if you're not using missiles, you want to shoot the guy in the front left seat. That is the target. He doesn't have to run out of his car to get away and the windows are not bulletproof. Just the car themselves is. So as you saw there, I got him just it was as he was running out of the car. Now those cars do take two hits before they all evacuate. So if you can time it well, you shoot out two bullets, you wait a couple seconds, you see him running out and then you pop him. Anyway, once we've done that, we want to go back to CEO service and back to VIP work. Now, the game's shit and it's put me on this little grey thing. It's saying that I'm still doing some work, but it's loaded in. Now it's caught up to what I want to do. Now, we're going to go through the list and as you can see, all these missions have a timer on it. That's because after you complete one of these missions, you have a five minute timer. But however you look at Headhunter, we, that's the one we just completed. It has a ten minute timer timer. The next mission we want to do is actually sight see it, but it's on the cooldown so we can't bloody do it just yet. But basically what's going to happen is this one's going to be able to start, the other one's still going to be counting down on the timer. Once we finish this, Headhunter will be on a different timer and we can just keep changing these missions by themselves. Now if you're a new player, this time you either want to sell a car or you can rob a store like I'm going to do right now. Yeah, there's this one 24-7. They are all over the map. You can find them pretty easy. You want to run in here and you want to point a gun at the teller here. So, you know, as he says, he's doing it. Go and get your money. Don't worry about him. Just fucking shoot all over the store. If you want, you can actually take him out as well and uh, steal the cash yourself. Don't worry too much about the intimidation. There we go. Don't shoot the teller because it does actually give you a higher wanted level. 
to get out of there. There you go, you saw that I got just over $1.5 thousand dollars. It's not a lot, but for a beginner, every little bit counts 100% about that. Now, if you're an advanced player and you own a few businesses, there are a few things you can do. Now, obviously, if you have the Oppressor Mark II, you have the Terabyte. Now, through the Terabyte, you can actually launch some client jobs. I reckon the best two are Diamond Shopping and Targeted Data. They give about $30,000 each, so go ahead and do them. Otherwise, if you want to do some crates, if you want to do some import export, go ahead and do those. They will make a bunch of money as well. But you want to make sure that you're prioritizing these VIP and CEO missions because seriously, I just made like $40,000 in less than three minutes. I don't know a way that's quicker than that. All right, and here we go. We can launch the site Sia. Boom. Now, of course, you can do this at any level. All you need to do is open your phone, go to the site Sia app here, and you need to do one of the three mini games. This is the easiest of them. Well, there's another pretty simple one as well, but the one we have to find the numbers is an absolute fucking dickhead. It can take you up to 30 seconds, sometimes a minute to find it. Sometimes you find it instantly, but there's just so many numbers. It is indeed a pain in the ass to try and do it. Now, once you actually find out where the package is, the game will put down a GPS for you and just follow that and go grab the package. Now, there is no combat here. It is just a lot of moving around the map. But if you're a new player, this is bloody fantastic as it shows you off places you might not know in the game. Now, I just actually took a look at the map and look how far away this first fucking location is. That is absolutely ludicrous. From all the way down here, basically up to the top of the map. Now, I can imagine if you're in a car, this will take you about five minutes to get to this location. And this is why I absolutely hate Sightseer with like all oh my gut. Seriously, it's a pain in the ass mission. It pays out well, but you know, if it's not double money, I wouldn't be doing this bloody mission. All right, I've made my way to the last parcel here. We've picked it up and boom, we've got $45,000 for collecting all of the packages. Not too bad, I don't say. Now, after you completed Sightseer, Hide Hunter should be back off its cooldown, which is great. However, if you're out in Blaine County, don't fucking start the mission. Again, don't start the fucking mission. What you want to do is you want to come back into the city at least where you can see all these buildings and stuff because that forces all the spawns in the city. If you do it out of Blaine County, it's going to spawn all over the place. It's going to spawn at the top of the map. It's going to spawn down the bottom of the map. It's going to go absolutely everywhere for you. So it makes it really streamlined if you start in the city. Now, if you don't own a buzzard, it's going to look something like this. They're all going to be in this armored car and you do want to shoot the guy in the front left seat. He's always going to be there and that's always going to be your target. So you, use this, so you should use this time now, go buy some ammo, sell one of these street NPC cars, you can sell some for close to $10,000 or go and rob another store. Now this is what the missing diamond shopping looks like if you have access to it. It is really quick, it is really easy, it is worth your time completing this mission for sure. It takes about two minutes if you have the oppressor and you do it correctly. So from here you want to start another sightseer, continue on to another headhunter, do another mission either from the client shop or rob some stores or sell a car or do whatever you feel like doing. It's up to you at that point. Just make sure that you are doing Sightseer and Headhunter once their timers are off. Rinse and repeat this and that's how you make shit loads of money per hour this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now you should be able to complete a headhunter and a sightseer within about 10 minutes. Give and take mistakes, give and take you don't have the oppressor to do it so quick. But in general each mission takes about 5 minutes after the cooldown so you should be able to do them both in a 10 minute period. Now they do offer $44,000 each. So let's do the math here. We've got 44000 times 2 and we can do that 6 times in an hour. And from that alone, we get $528,000. Now, if you are able to fit in the four client jobs there, they are equal to $320,000 each, which equates to 
hundred thousand dollars per hour now if you're an advanced player and you add on all your businesses that you have you might have the nightclub you might have the bunker you might have all five of the MC businesses for all I fucking know with a fully upgraded bunker you're gonna be banking about ninety thousand dollars per hour now with all the bunker businesses if you buy the supplies here's how much you're gonna make with an hour with the document forgery you're gonna make a tiny fifteen thousand dollars so don't even worry about that. With a weed farm about $20,000, with counterfeit cash you're going to make $36,000, with the meth lab you're going to make about $34,000, and finally with the fucking legendary cocaine factory we're going to be making about $47,000 every single hour. Now if you do this method and if you own all these businesses that I've just talked about in Grand Theft Auto Online, you'll be making just under $900,000 every single hour. That's so close to a million dollars in just one hour's work in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now you do need to sell these businesses, but I wouldn't actually recommend selling them every hour. I'd recommend doing this method, you know, over a few hours, let these businesses all fill up and then just do one big sale at the end there. And that way you're going to make even more money. Guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. You fucking need to farm the shit out of this this week. There's not going to be another opportunity like this in quite a long time. Trust me. Now there's two things that I really like about this method that some of you might not know. One, you can do this in a solo session. So what this means is you basically lag out of your session so it's only you inside of it. This way, no other CEOs are going to be in the lobby doing the same missions as you. And as well, no one is just going to come and mess around with you because we all fucking hate it when that happens. Now secondly, this method is fantastic because if you have some friends playing with you, you all make the same amount of money. That is crazy for you all to make the same amount of money all at the same time. This method is, it's sent from the gods above. All right? So make sure you get your ass onto Grand Theft Auto Online to farm this method because I'm fairly sure a new update will come fairly soon to Grand Theft Auto Online and we're gonna need all of that big juicy money. All right, everybody, this has been Ben Chica with 100% Gaming. Please make sure to leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, as it really helps out a small channel like mine. And with that subscription, I promise to you, I will keep making quality gaming videos.